Hey guys, Zach Calhoun here. Welcome to cloudpanel.com. Today we're going to walk through step by step how to create your first 360 virtual tour from scratch. And you'll also see just how quick, simple, and fun it really is. So when you go to cloudpanel.com, you'll have different options to click uh, to try it out or get started, sign in. All you got to do is just click one of these uh, links and it will send you over to the application itself, which you can also go to directly at app.cloudpano.com. You'll be prompted with a model that looks like, looks like this. It says, let's get started, create a tour. To create a tour, give it a name and click next. So you just follow the prompts and do what it says. So if you wanted to name your tour one, two, three, four um, address, then that would be a great title for your tour the name of the actual property location. If you already have some tours on the platform, you just manage those tours at your dashboard. So you would just click go to dashboard. And if you have no photos at all that are 360 um, and you want to test out our software right now, just click on not ready to make your own tour. Click here to play with the sample tour. And they'll, and they'll upload a pre-made tour for you to play with and mess around with all the features. So I'm gonna click next. And then I'm going to select four photos for us to use on the platform. And you can upload as many as you want. I recommend batch uploading because um, if you upload 30 panorama photos at a time, it's just a lot of, a lot of data, takes time. Uh, I'd rather just upload a few at a time. Uh, you can see they're uploading still. That's why these spinners are happening. You even see a, um, an uploading bar up on top. All that is to just to communicate to you that we're still uploading those files onto the server and getting them ready for you, to, getting them ready for you, creating your tour uh, link for you, etc. So when you're when you're uh, when you have your photos uploaded, you'll see a screen just like this. To the right, obviously, is our tour viewer and what the user sees. And over here to the left is our sidebar. There's also some buttons on the bottom. They say link hotspot, set initial view, and you have a preview button. Also right here, you have a zoom in and zoom out, and then you have your publish buttons. When you finish the tour and you're happy with it and you're excited, you click publish. Um, so over here on the sidebar, you see four photos, and I can organize them quickly just by dragging and dropping, right? So if I was to take this third photo, make it number two, um, all you do is just drag it up and it's ready to go. Um, the top photo will be the first photo that appears on the tour. So that's important to note. What do you want them to see first? Most likely it's an exterior photo, a photo taken outside or something really cool where you want them to, when they first view the tour, um, that's what you want them to see. Also, you can edit the names of each room, which makes sense, right? So if this is your den photo, you would, you would call it den. If this is your living room, just call it living room. Um, hold on, I can press enter there. So living room. And you, you can also edit them by clicking the little edit button. Um, let's say this is your kitchen. So I'm gonna use control A to select all real quick. Kitchen, that's it. I press enter and it, and just, it saves the name just like that. And if I wanted to just manually do it, bedroom, boom. So now all my rooms have names. It's important to kind of start there because you, then whenever you're adding hotspots, you actually know which room you're connecting, right? Up here in the top left, you'll see tour properties and upload an image. Upload image just means upload another 360 photo if you want to from your files. Um, we already have four, that's enough for now. Right here, tour properties, this appears at the top left corner of your tour. So if you wanted to add that contact person, your client, or your own self, your information, this is where you would put it. So you'd put person, uh, so I can even put, let's put my name just for fun. So Zach. Um, you can call me anytime, 832, 228. And then email, if you guys want to email me, you can email me whenever you want, cloudpanel.com, and I'll respond. And those three things will appear in the top left. You can put whatever you want there. Also, it's important to note, if you want to add a logo, which is really easy to do, you just click over here on one of your side panel options, click browse, and you can add a logo at any time, and it will appear above on the top, that top left corner information, which is pretty cool and fun sometimes, especially for commercial properties. Okay, now let's get on to the tour itself. Now this photo I selected is the kitchen, so that's why you're seeing it on, on the left. Let's start with our first photo, the den, okay? 
Now, the first thing I want to do is kind of set my initial view. Where are folks going to be looking when they first hit this photo? So I click that button and it sets that view. So for each room, I'm going to quickly do that. So my bedrooms are over here. So do that. I'm going to go to my kitchen. I don't, want, I don't want to see the fridge first. I want to see this cool sink. So that's what I'm going to save right there. I go to the bedroom. Same thing. I don't want to see the corner of the bedroom. I, want, I kind of want to see this door. So I'm going to say set initial view there. Cool. Now I'm going to go back to the den and I'm going to start linking some hot spots. So this doorway, let's say hypothetically, it links to the kitchen. Okay. So all you do is just click that click link hotspot, click where you want the hotspot to appear. And then, and then once you click that location, you have the option to connect that photo. I usually recommend two hotspots per room at least so you can navigate left and right or backwards and forwards in that room. So in this case, I added the kitchen and I added the living room. And you'll see the hotspot appears right there. Once you had that hotspot, on that doorway or on that location wherever you decide to put it you can easily edit it you can delete the hotspot so now the hotspot's gone so if I click here the same area again click leaving room the hotspots reconnected and if I want to use this as kind of an idea okay where does that take me I, I just press, press this little rocket button and it takes me to the living room now I know where it takes me so I have an idea of what the user is going to experience right so I'm gonna click hotspot here add it to the bedroom and because I, I want to know what the user is going to experience in that bedroom, I'm going to click that little rocket. And here we are in the bedroom again, right? And I'm going to link back to that same room that I was just in, that living room. Um, and so when a user hits this room, he has somewhere to go via hotspot, at least one hotspot, which is fun to do. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's kind of how that works. Real simple. And once you once you have those made, you can kind of uh, click around. If you want to edit which room it goes to, just click this little edit button on the hotspot. Very self-explanatory. Stuff you would expect for a uh, tour software, right? And I, um, I'm going to click this right here. I don't want to edit. I just want to actually go to that little rocket. So let's click here to the kitchen. So I got pretty much everything I want. And if I want to preview it, I can. But for me, I'm just going to click publish because I like what I see. Um, so once you hit publish, you'll be hit with a few prompts, requests to uh, unlock your tour if you've already used your first three free tours. If this is your first tour ever, um, you'll see a little mole that pops up just like this uh, once you uh, select yes or no. If you want to make your tour pro, you'll be asked to, which pro basically removes the cloud panel logo right here. And you can also use your own domain name when you have a pro tour, which is really cool. Basically like a white labeled service. Um, and, once, and once you say yes or no to that, um, you'll be prompted with your link right here, which goes right to your tour. So I clicked on that and it copied it automatically for me. And if I want to embed this tour onto my website, I easily can. We have an iframe available. You just click it and it copies it for you. So here's the asset right here. And once I'm done, I just click exit, removes that modal. And here is the tour I created, right? Here it is. Y'all remember, I just did it. Here's the hotspot to that bedroom. Let's click it. Okay, it works. Awesome. If I, if I want to be in VR mode, I just click VR mode. Of course, that only works on works well on a cell phone, but you get the picture, right? So that's how you create a tour on Cloud Pano. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you have questions, please reach out to us directly. And remember, you manage your tours on your dashboard. Click your dashboard button and you're there. You can manage your tours all day from your dashboard. If you have any questions, please let us know. And don't forget, if you want to save the most money per year and sell this as a service or market tons of homes, infinite amounts, unlimited amount uh, of real estate properties in 360, make sure to upgrade to Pro Plus now, which you can do at our website. Go to cloudpano.com, click Go Pro Plus, scroll down. It's only $49 a month. If you pay annually, it's about a dollar a day, a little more than a dollar a day. That's not bad for unlimited 360 virtual tours on the platform. All right, I'll see you guys there. Love y'all. Thank you so much. And I'll and sign up for our Pro, Pro Plus plan today. All right, see you guys on the other side.